Hey guys, and welcome back to another Merchant Ford tutorial. In today's video, we're showing you how to make it so the player's camera and what they're seeing is all in black and white or kind of old school colours. So maybe not necessarily just straight black and white, but kind of like that old brownie orange colour which you get as well. You can customise this to get it what you want. Essentially, we're going to be changing the colour of the player's viewport to what they're seeing. So again, it doesn't have to be black and white. That's just the example I'm going for because the theme of my game I'm doing at the moment is Blast from the Past. So this might help you if you want to do something quite fine in the past, black and white, anything along those lines. So let me hit play and show you what I'm going to make today. So you can see I'm walking around, everything is black and white. If I exit, it looks like this normally. I enter black and white like this and again you can change the colours so it's not straight black and white. It's got a little bit of a brown orange tint to it or anything along those lines if you want it as well. So this is what we're making today, quite a nice little simple thing but a very good effect which again can just completely change the look of your game to get it perfect for how you want. So without further ado, let me do this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So what we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint. So for me that's content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. Now in this we're going to go to the viewport and select our camera. Make sure to do this on whichever camera it is which the player is looking through, so if it's first, third or both. Just make sure you're using the cameras which you want to have black and white filter on top of. And what we're going to do after we selected it, in the top right, we're going to search for post process. And you can see we have these options here for post process. It should probably look something like this for you with everything closed. What we're going to do is open up the color grading and then open up white balance and global. What I'm going to do first is tick the saturation on global and open it up and change it all the way down to zero. So from one to zero like so. Now if we hit compile, save and play, everything is black and white like this. So to very simply make everything black and white, just turn the saturation all the way down to zero on the global like so. But if you wanted to give it a little bit of a tint, we could enable the temperature and tint under white balance and mess up those values to change it a little bit as well. So if we hit play, it's the same because we haven't changed it. So what I'm gonna do is just move this over ever so slightly so I can see my screen as well as mess about with these different options. So I've got the options there, select my character, and we're now seeing through the player's camera down here, so we get a preview of what it's going to look like. So again, at the moment, it's just black and white. So what we can do is change the temperature and tint here to change what this is going to look like. But what we also want to do if we're doing that is change this from 0 to 0 0.1 or any other factor as well, which just make sure it's not exactly 0, just so we can actually change this. Now let's do that, so now we can change these values of the temperature and tint, and you see simply increasing these values does change the overall colour of this like so. So again, if you don't want it straight black and white, just kind of old school colours instead, with a nice browny orange tint, you can do that as well like this. So if we hit play, you can see it looks slightly different. It's got a little bit more of a tint on it, not just straight black and white like so, but it still gives you a nice old school kind of feel and vibe to it. So again, very easy, just mess up with these values and change them to get them perfect for what you want. And obviously if you want to get more in depth, you can change just the shadows, midtones, and highlights instead of just the global settings here. So again, just really change these values to get them working perfectly for you. And again, obviously increase or decrease this too to get it just acting a little bit differently like that. So what I did there was increase it from 0 0.1 to 0 0.5. Now it's a bit more prominent when we're changing the colors so it's not just 0 0.1 like it was before. So I think that'll be it for this video today. So we've done everything we want to do. We set it up so we can change the post process on a camera to give us this nice little color grading filter on top of it so we can make it black and white or different colors, whatever it is you want. Again, today I'm specifically just showing you how to make it look kind of old so it's in the past. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.